In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called composition of two rational functions. Our two functions here are f of x, which is 4 over x minus 3, and g of x, which is 11 over x. And we're asked to find both f of g of x and the domain of f of g of x. Another way of writing f of g of x, which I think is a little bit more helpful, is like so, where we can see g of x is being plugged into our f function. And I'm actually going to start with the domain so that I can tell what limitations there are and what I can plug into f of g of x. Working from the inside out, looking at g of x, I want to know what the constraints are on values for x. And since x is in the denominator, we know that x cannot be equal to 0, since we can't have a 0 denominator. So from g of x, I have x cannot be equal to 0. So this is our first limitation on x. But then as we write f of g of x, we are replacing the x and f of x with the g of x function. So that would leave us with the 4 in the numerator, replacing the x with 11 over x, and then minus the 3. This is our composite function, and here we have another denominator that cannot be equal to 0. So 11 over x minus 3 cannot be 0 because that would also have us dividing by 0. And here when we solve for x, we have 11 over x equals 3. When we add the 3 over to the other side, multiplying by x to remove it from the denominator, we have 11 equals 3x. And then isolating the x, we have x equals 11 thirds. This gives us a 0 in the denominator, so x cannot be equal to 11 thirds. Our Two limitations on the domain are that x cannot be equal to 0, x cannot be equal to 11 thirds. So omitting those two values, x can be anything from negative infinity to 0, not including 0, union, everything from 0 to 11 thirds, not including 0 or 11 thirds and then another union with everything from 11 thirds to positive infinity. Our domain here has everything except for the values 0 and 11 thirds. So we've written the domain, but I'd also like to clean up our composite function f of g of x. We can simplify this since it's currently a complex fraction. Our denominator here, I can remove the fraction in the denominator by multiplying everything in the denominator by x. I would also need to multiply the numerator by x. And again, this is something that we can do. We've already said that x cannot be 0. In doing this multiplication, we would have 4x in the numerator. In the denominator, when we distribute multiplying x by 11 over x, the x's cancel, giving us just 11. Distributing the x to the minus 3 gives us a minus 3x. And this is our simplified composite function.